Back in 2015, I had the unbelievable opportunity to study tropical marine life as part of my undergrad course when we spent two weeks studying mangroves, coral reefs, seagrass, all of these amazing ecosystems off a small island in Puerto Rico. Now you may think while you're surrounded by such amazing wildlife, while you're surrounded by literally thousands of fish, how can one species stand out? Well, actually one species did and I couldn't help but notice as you're snorkeling along these really charismatic tiny creatures, which is what I wanna share with you today. These are worms. Okay, don't click off yet. I know I've just cut from some very rough footage, but I wanna talk about how awesome these creatures are before I show you the rest of the footage, which shows them doing why I absolutely think these things are so cool and so charismatic. But for me to start telling you guys about them, I'm going to launch into my sketchbook and start painting them. So if you're new to this channel and haven't seen a sketchbook sessions before, basically I paint and sketch a species in my sketchbook that I find weird or wonderful while sharing footage and telling you guys all about that creature. So if that sounds like something you want to see, then make sure to subscribe to see a new video every single Wednesday and to click the link here uh, after the video is done so that you can go and watch the rest of my series and get up to date on your weird, weird, weird marine creatures. W weird's the thing, really. Let's get into what is this weird worm creature thing that lives uh, in, in the tropics. Well, it's actually called a Christmas tree worm. So before we go any further, I think it's only right that we get in the festive spirit I think that's better. So these colourful Christmas tree shaped parts of this worm are actually its feeding appendages which is where it filters particles out of the water and then can direct them back down to the main body and the stomach where it can be you know consumed. But these are really cool in that they don't just take in all particles they know what particles they want, anything too big, it gets chucked off and anything that is perfect kind of gets wiggled its way all the way down um, these fan circle Christmas tree branches um, to the main body. And they also, if they pick up sand, are able to redirect that to special glands that the worm has in its body that it then um, helps to build the tube which the main body is kind of protected in. Before we move on, I have a slight apology to make. I drew this illustration before I then researched a bit more about these creatures and something I completely missed when looking at all the pictures, it must have, I just got too absorbed in the awesome colours of them, is that each worm actually has two of these Christmas trees to feed on. So you only ever find them in pairs. I have not drawn a single pair, I don't think, in my sketchbook illustration, so I apologise and just imagine that there should be double the colour and double the Christmas tree festivities um, when you actually look at the... It's really good, but probably not the best to talk with. Probably winding up some sort of cat or dog if anyone is watching that with their animals. I don't apologise, that's quite funny. If that's happening to you, let me know in the comments. Please wash it with your animals. So the tube of these worms, you can't actually really see them, especially not in the footage that I showed you earlier, and you can't see it in the illustration. And that's not because, unlike the second Christmas tree, I forgot to include it, it's because they actually hide themselves in hard corals. Now they don't bury themselves and they can't dig into the corals, but they kind of stand their ground and over a while, a long period, these corals will actually grow around the tubes of the worm so that the worm is kind of, the main body of the worm is completely covered and all that you see is these feeding appendages. And the reason why that is so useful and so great for this species is the reason I love them so much and why in a 
giant coral reef filled with beautiful fish and gorgeous corals how you can't not see these charismatic, charismatic little guys because whenever you snorkel anywhere close to them they do this Look at him, dude, the beer is so cute. And so funny. Like, they're just terrified of you and I feel bad that they disappear in, but it's really cool just to be swimming along and then these worms just go, Ooh. I wish I had that mechanism. It would be really cool if you could just, you know, disappear into a coral and hide. But that's a, a basic protective mechanism. It means that they can shoot their Christmas trees back into their body and just be inside the coral and be protected from big scary looking humans but more importantly from predators that are likely to eat um, the colourful looking Christmas trees. So that is the Christmas tree worm. It's been super cool. I love it. I just remember having so much fun filming these creatures on my tiny little GoPro while I was probably su supposed to be doing work. So remember to like this video and comment down below if you have seen the sketchbook sessions, if I wound your pets up with these bells and uh, if you like the video and what other uh, Christmas related creatures you want to see because I've got a couple of videos coming up uh, Christmas themed for the rest of the month so share your Christmas animal wishes with me and uh, yeah remember to share and subscribe it really really helps me out. But until then, have a wonderful week, and if you're watching this closer to Christmas, have a wonderful Christmas. I will see you all next Wednesday for a, another Marine Mumbles video. Have a fab week. Until then, be merry, be jolly, let your inner elf loose. Bye guys.